Aujourd'hui, nous allons apprendre le verbe avoir. Hello class, today we are going to be learning the verb avoir. First, we're going to learn what it means, then we're going to learn how to conjugate it, and third, and maybe most importantly of all, we're going to practice pronouncing it together. Allons-y. The verb avoir means to have in English. As we will see in a later unit, it is also used in the preterite or past tense as a helping verb. Maintenant, faisons la conjugaison du verbe avoir. Remember, you can put the video on pause at any time if you need a little extra time to copy down your notes. J'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, on a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. J'ai, tu as, il a. Elle a, on a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont. Maintenant, regardons des exemples. Exemple numéro 1. I have homework. J'ai des devoirs. Exemple numéro 2. Do you have homework? Est-ce que tu as des devoirs? Exemple numéro 3. We have too much homework. Nous avons trop de devoirs. Maintenant, nous allons travailler la prononciation. Commençons par l'infinitif. Let's take a look at the infinitive. The O-I-R spelling throws off a lot of native English speakers, but it's really not that complicated. It really sounds a bit like a V placed in front of the W-H-A-R combination. Avoir. Avoir. The je form is a little tricky. In French, we typically don't place two vowel sounds side by side. So, instead of saying je ai, we say j'ai, replacing the e with an apostrophe. J'ai. J'ai. The two il, elle, and on forms are identical in terms of pronunciation, although they are spelled differently. Tu as. Il a, elle a, on a. The new form is a little tricky too because you have to remember to pronounce the S on the end of nous. We pronounce the S here even though we usually don't because it is followed directly by the vowel sound that begins the word avant. You'll also notice that the S on the end of nous is really more like a Z sound than an American S sound. Nous avons, nous avons. Same rule applies to the vous form. Vous avez. Vous avez. We need to pronounce the final S on both il and l because they are followed by a vowel sound. Ils ont. Elles ont. Très bien. Aujourd'hui, vous avez appris le sens du verbe avoir, sa conjugaison au présent et finalement sa prononciation. Don't forget to finish mastering this new verb. You need to complete the interactive activities right next to this video. Bon courage et à bientôt!